Hey everyone, I'm Rob, and thanks for tuning in to another collaboration between the Knights of Horror and On The Fence Movie Review to bring you another episode of Slashback Friday. Now in this episode of Slashback Friday, I'm gonna, I guess, switch things up a little bit and uh, review, it was a special actually that came out, um, and it's a little more family friendly, although it has one of the most diabolical, sinister villains ever to grace the screen, um, and I'll get to that in one second, but the movie, our special I'm actually gonna review is It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown. Now, um, I know what you're, what you're probably thinking, hey, this isn't a Slashback Friday, but for Halloween time, this is one of my favorite movies uh, to watch just because it kind of gets you in the, you know, the fall kind of season, the Halloween season. And just the opening, kind of the opening shot of this movie is uh, Linus and Lucy. And that's who I'm speaking of when I say one of the most sinister villains to ever grace the screen is uh, dear Lucy. Because she's always pulling away that football from Charlie Brown just never gets that guy at break. Um, we'll get back to Charlie Brown in a second, but just that opening scene um, with Linus and Lucy kind of walking to the pumpkin patch and uh, just the shot of them walking, you you get all these colors and they're fall colors and they're beautiful colors and just it, it kind of sets the tone for the movie, the season, and it's just like, oh yeah, like th this is fall. Like, you know, you got those you got those oranges, those you know, those reds, those browns, and just you know the mesh of fall and all those colors together, and it it, it it's a beautiful shot, um, you know. So, anyways, the the whole pretty much the whole movie is, I guess, a kind of a spin off of Santa Claus and Christmas. It's uh, Linus's belief in the Great Pumpkin. Now, the kind of the lore with this is that um, if you pick a pump a pumpkin patch. And you believe it's a sincere pumpkin patch, and you are a sincere person. And you believe that the great pumpkin will visit that pumpkin patch. That the great pumpkin will visit that pumpkin patch and bring toys and candy and and for all the all the boys and girls and all the children. Um, and that's kind of Linus's belief throughout the the movie or the the special. And yes, this is Charlie Brown, but pretty much it revolves around. Linus and him being in that pumpkin patch and just trying to convince other people that the great pumpkin is real um, And you know, he's writing letters to the great pumpkin, you know saying how he can't wait for him to you know Come and show up and that hit the pumpkin patch that he's gonna be at it's the most sincerest and he believes that the great pumpkin is real and you know, there's as a kid, you know, you take it for kind of what it is. It's, it's a cartoon. It's, it's cute cartoon as an adult you I feel like I saw it more as like, you know, that's just the kind of the belief of a child, you know, like there's a Santa Claus, there's a tooth fairy, there's the great pumpkin. And, um, you know, it's just, it, it kind of just makes me smile a little bit or a lot of it. Um, but just kind of, that's pretty much the whole premise of the whole special. It's about 30 minutes, but there's things throughout the special with different characters that I really do enjoy. I'm going to kind of bounce around a little bit and I'll kind of be kind of quick. You know, it's only a 30 minute special. Um, but my favorite character of all, all the peanuts is Snoopy. Now, I know everyone loves Snoopy, but just there's little things that Snoopy does that make me laugh. And one of the, one that sticks out the most is Snoopy's laugh. He just has like that kind of annoying, loud pitch laugh. And every time I hear him laugh, it makes me laugh. And he's always laughing at the funniest thing. It's kind of like, you know, just something will happen and Snoopy just laughs or like some, you know, Lucy does something and Snoopy laughs at her and it's just, just the way he laughs is funny. And, um, you know, the, pretty much uh, what they're doing throughout this, the special is, you know, the kids are, they're getting ready for Halloween cause it is Halloween night. They're getting their costumes ready. Um, you know, they're going to go trick or treating and, you know, they're trying to also, they're trying to convince Linus to go with them. They're all telling Linus he's crazy because, you know, there is no great pumpkin, but Linus still believes. And I actually believe that Sally, um, stays with Linus a little bit because, you know, she loves Linus so much and she stays with him for a little bit, um, as the, as the special progresses, but we follow the kids and also another thing that you don't realize as a kid that you realize as an adult is that, they're always picking on Charlie Brown and he just can't catch a break. Um, 
whether it be they're going trick-or-treating and every house they go to Charlie Brown gets rocks everyone's getting candy or change you know money and and Charlie Brown's getting rocks every house they visit um, and and you know I, they're at a at a Halloween party later on in the episode and you know they're telling Charlie Brown like hey come model for us and so he's like yeah sure and they end up just kind of drawing on the back of his head uh, the pumpkin carving that they want to carve the pumpkin out of so that's just you know little things that I'm like man They're always picking on Charlie Brown and of course Lucy is always pulling the football away from Charlie Brown and I'm pretty sure Charlie Brown uh, Grew up with sciatica or some kind of back issues from him falling all the time that just got real serious right there because I understand back issues anyways, um but just over oh and there's this like little scene where i don't know it really has nothing to do with the whole whole special together but snoopy's you know dressed up as a fighter pilot and there's this whole whole this whole like kind of scene where he is looking for the red baron and he's on top of his doghouse and you know he's and i guess in his imaginations reenacting this whole thing and just that whole little scene it, you know it's kind of it makes me smile and uh, just this whole whole special uh, just kind of takes me back to when I used to uh, uh, go down my grandma's and she would read uh, the paper and I would watch you know uh, I would look at the cartoon illustrations in the back and the peanuts would be there so kind of just it always just takes me back to my childhood and specifically this special takes me back to this time of the year the fall the change you know the leaves and just you know the kind of the whole season of autumn and and Halloween time um, and in saying all that, uh, there's really not too much that I'm going to nitpick about this and, you know, kind of say, oh, I didn't like this or I didn't like that. Cause I really do enjoy this movie. And I'm going to say, if you have not seen, uh, Char, uh, it's a great pumpkin, Charlie Brown, I'm going to say you should definitely get off the fence and check it out. Now, obviously this, it is a dated cartoon, but the heart is still there. And I feel like if you if you just let that kind of, you know, talk to your younger self, um, you'll enjoy this movie. Um, it's got some funny stuff. You know, there are, there's some references that probably as a kid I did not get, but as an adult, I'm like, okay, like I could see how a kid wouldn't get that joke, but as an adult, I get the joke. Um, so in saying all that, get off the fence and uh, check out It's the Great Pumpkin. Charlie Brown. Now, with that being said, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for supporting us. Thank you for watching uh, these collaborations. Again, I'm having fun doing them. It's, again, super tough to pick out, you know, kind of my favorite Halloween time movies. But uh, I hope you're having as much fun as I am uh, kind of going over them and just recapping my all my Halloween uh, time and movies uh, kind of put there. But Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you like this, please uh, hit that like button. Subscribe uh, the for the Nights of Horror and on the Fence Movie Reviews. Um, we got our Instagrams. Go ahead and check those out too. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below um, if you've seen It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, or what's like another cartoon that kind of takes you back to when you're a kid and kind of just gives you the fills right, right in there. Um, I'd love to hear about it and maybe even do a review on it one day. Um, and saying all that... Remember, before you go trick-or-treating, make sure your candy bag doesn't have any holes in it.